What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Equal Espresso and welcome back to another Black Ops 3 video here today on my channel. Today we're going to be talking about is all the perks that are available in Black Ops 3's multiplayer. As we know, there is a lot new to Black Ops 3, some of which including the perks, some of which are exactly the same as we've seen before. But nonetheless, we've got some awesome perk talk to discuss here today. But before we get too far into it, if you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe if you guys do like the video. Be sure to like rating down below, really does help the video as well as the channel out tremendously and as always is greatly appreciated. Now, getting right into it, starting us off with the tier one perks. That's going to include flak jacket, which is our normal flak jacket. It's going to protect you from explosives and grenade damage, stuff like that. And with C4 returning, it's definitely going to help you out if you want to prevent against that kind of stuff. Blind eye, it's going to protect you from AI kill streaks and tracking is unavailable to detect you. Now, ghost is returning as well, which is going to do something similar to blind eye, but it's the same exact thing as black ops too. But the great part about this is that you have to be constantly moving to be unable to be detected by UAVs and such. The moment that you stop moving is when you're able to be detected. Next we have Blast Suppressor which removes your indicator for thrusting. It's not necessarily essential and it's something that seems to be a little bit buggy in this alpha build. A lot of the people that I've talked to that have played the game already have said that you can't really see an indicator even for the people that are actually not running Blast Suppressor for whenever they actually thrust. So it's not really necessarily understood to its entirety but that's what it's supposed to be doing here and the final perk in tier 1 one is Afterburner. This is going to be very, very essential to a lot of people. It's going to allow you to recharge your thrust pack much quicker, and it's going to allow you to move a lot faster as well. Definitely something that is very handy, especially with Lightweight not returning. Next, we have the Tier 2 perks, which include Scavenger, which is our normal scavenger that we all know and love. Personally, one of my favorite perks throughout the entire Call of Duty franchise, because I don't like being low on bullets. This is going to refill your ammo for not only weapons, but also lethals and tacticals. Next, we have Hardwired, which will make you immune to UAVs, Power Cores, which is something that is new but not necessarily understood again as well, EMP Grenades, and it will not trigger proximity mines in the lethal or tactical category. Keeping it moving, we have Fast Hands, which is going to allow you to swap weapons faster. Tracker is a new perk, which it's going to show the footprints of enemies from the past about five seconds in their movements. If you're close to them, you'll be able to see where exactly those footprints are. It's not necessarily the most useful for run and gun game modes, perhaps in search and destroy and other slower paced, it's going to help out tremendously. But other than that, it's something that is there, but not necessary. Any up is going to be replacing hardline or almost acting as it. It's going to start you out with more kill streak points and is something that is definitely going to help you out tremendously. And finally, we have cold blooded, which makes you immune to tracker as well as a new perk, six cents, which we'll talk about here in a second. Ground AI as well as thermal sites. Now, finally, we have the tier three perks, which really are the same exact perks perks as we've seen here in previous titles, so not too much to them. Engineer is returning, Dead Silence is returning, which is something that a lot of people are extremely happy about. Awareness is returning, Tac Mask is returning, Gung Ho is returning, it's also not as useful. And then we have a new perk, which is Sixth Sense, which will indicate nearby enemies' directions in quadrants. It'll give you a little blip on your mini-map and HUD and show you in what general direction there are people that, say, are stalking you or about to flank you. So it does help out tremendously, but isn't necessary needed. It's probably going to be up in the air between that and Dead Silence as the two perks in the tier 3 category that are definitely needed, but again, that's not necessarily anything too terrible because there are going to be wild cards and you can probably use the two perks here simultaneously. So that's a wrap on what we can see in the Black Ops 3 multiplayer perks, and that's where we're going to end the video up here today, ladies and gentlemen. So let me just think down there in the comment section down below, which perk do you think is the most crucial to your gameplay experience here in Black Ops 3? Love to hear your thoughts down there in the comment section section down below, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like the video, be sure to like rating down below, any shares your Facebook, Twitter, and or MySpace. If you object, that I was greatly appreciative and you're here. Be sure to subscribe to the best quality Black Ops 3 content, any new news for fish guys knew exactly to find out in my channel. Just want to let you guys know that I will actually be traveling at the time of this video going live. I'm not going to be at my PC, so we do have a ton of Black Ops 3 content scheduled for you guys, so make sure you stick around here tomorrow and the next couple of days on my channel. We'll be discussing a lot of new information with Black Ops 3, but thank you guys once again so much for watching. My name is Vinicola Espresso. So as always, hope you guys are having a great day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care and peace. Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs>